Hi everyone and welcome. My name is Bobby. If you don't already know that, uh, you should know that by now. Uh, but I have a small little tutorial uh, once more for you this evening. And uh, what I'll be going over with you on is how to get these uh, so-called uh, PCFX uh, CD-ROM games working on the uh, Wii McNeffin uh, emulator on the Wii. Now, uh, this guy in the comment section, uh, well, he, he asked me to do this tutorial. Uh, I guess he's having a bit of a problem uh, getting these games to boot up and, uh, and work. Uh, as well as a lot more people, guys. I went online and sure enough, there's, there's quite a few people having that problem uh, boot, booting these games up. So this tutorial here is uh, for the guy who introduced me to these games and also for everyone else on the internet having this problem. Um, this system, guys, I didn't even know it existed until a couple of days ago when the guy commented on it. Uh, and it, there's a good reason why I haven't uh, heard of it because they were only released in Japan. Uh, they only made like 60 games, guys. There's not many games whatsoever for this system. Uh, it looks kind of like a uh, a PC tower, a little PC tower with the uh, CD-ROM. Uh, drive on top really cool looking i wish i could get my hands on one of these things but uh yeah it come back it come out back in like 94 i believe it was uh and it was, the manufacturer of this console was uh, nec anybody's ever heard of that but uh yeah i'm gonna go over uh well first of all i'm gonna go hop over to the wii i'm gonna show you guys what it's doing and then we will hop over to the computer and we'll fix her up and we'll go back over to the wii and uh, we'll see if she boots up or not. And uh, and that's that. Uh, I'm going to try to get through this as quick as possible. It's, it's not a really big deal. Uh, guys, the emulator actually tells you what's wrong. Uh, it's like right there in play of the day. Uh, but uh, I, I will show you that. And uh, so let's get, let's get started, guys. Uh, let's hop over, over to the Wii and I'll show you. Alright, so here we are guys. We're going to go into the uh, Wii Bedefin, uh emulator over here. Uh, this is it. And we're going to see what's going on with this. Now this emulates quite a bit of different uh, consoles. Uh, it's, it's, it's a really cool emulator. It really is. It's not too bad. Alright, so we're going to load game. We'll hit the A button here. I've already got a game on here. Uh, it's this one here. And it is uh, the PC FX game. Uh, what we're going to do, we're going to scroll down. And we're going to hit the, the A button on the bid file. And as you can see, it says ROM image too large. Uh, so... Okay, all right, so it's too large. Can't do that. Let's go to the Q file here. Error opening. Okay, no such directory. Huh, okay. Let's look at that one more time, guys. Check this out. All right, guys, so as you can see down here at the bottom, it says no such file or directory. Uh, now, what that's referring to is this right here parentheses this is the uh, a directory uh, so what do we have we ha do we have a file problem or a directory problem well we know we have an SD card and we know we have the uh, Wii McDeffitt folder on the root of the SD card but what about this uh, PCFX.ROM file y yeah guys we don't have that file so we do definitely have a file problem so we're going to go on the internet we're going to find this file and we're going to put this file into the Wii McDeffitt folder on the root of the SD card because guys this is what the emulator is actually telling us what's wrong okay so we're, def we're, we're just going to go ahead and give the emulator what it wants alright sound cool okay so let's go on over to the computer guys and uh, we'll give the emulator uh, what it wants we're going to create that directory we're, we're going to put the uh, that ROM file in the Wii Medefin, uh folder on the SD card and we'll come back here and we'll see what happens. Uh, all right. Okay, guys. So pretty much to get started, you're just really going to need two things. Uh, 
Now, if you ha already have this uh, Wii McDaffin uh, emulator on your SD card or whatever, uh, you're still going to need two things. You're going to need the, that ROM file and also a game. Uh, if you don't have the Wii McDaffin emulator on your SD card, then you're going to need this file here and the game. So either way, you're going to need two things. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start the extraction of this uh, archive here. And while that's extracted, I'll go ahead and show you the websites. This is the video fire site, guys. Now, I put this archive together myself. So, guys, everything in it is ready to go. Uh, nothing else needed. Also included one game in there. It's a shmup game. Uh, it's really cool. Um, you know, it just, it just it's ha it has everything. I mean, you're ready to go. All you do is just... Uh, copy it onto your SD card or, or your uh, H, uh, hard drive or whatever and that's it so so be thankful for that uh, as for games uh, this is where I get my games from if you paradise uh, you can scroll down uh, right here uh, uh, yeah right here where it says view all sections just click on that and then you can uh, Scroll down. This is your here's your PC FX ISO. You click on that, and I'll just scroll down for you guys just to check the games out here. Because guys, there are not many at all. I mean, I'm telling you, there are not many made whatsoever. I am totally shocked at how many games there are for this system. I am totally shocked. Um, the game I included in my archive guys is uh let's see where is it at it's, uh, right here uh don't even ask me how to pronounce this dog or name it's japanese but it's a really cool shmup game check it out uh really cool but yeah th there's a lot more here uh there's actually two other games i had downloaded i haven't put uh on, on my hard drive yet and that's these two right here uh, and again, don't ask me how to pronounce these at all. <clears throat> but yeah, that's that. All right. So, uh, what's included in this archive? So we'll we'll get right into it. Of course, we got our app here. We got our uh, Wii Magnificent Emulator right here. Uh, now this this Wii Magnificent uh, folder here is going to go on the root of your SD card, and within that is where your ROMs are going to go. Uh, w which I included you go to, into your PC FX folder and there's the ROM right there that I included it it comes in a uh, QMBIT file and uh, here's that PC FX dot ROM uh, I had to really search for this thing guys and uh, when I did find it I had to rename it and all that good stuff but be thankful for that uh, that it's there uh, all, all the work's done for you guys all the work has done for you okay so uh, let's go ahead and let's start get these things over a bit uh, SD card and my hard drive here if I could bring this up where, where's it at here uh, okay it brings that up what about my SD card Hold on a second, guys. Don't know, I just reinstalled the stupid thing. All right, here we go. All right, so what we're going to do, guys, is if you know anything about installing emulators or whatever, you're going to know if you don't have this apps folder on your SD card, you're simply going to drag and drop this folder onto the root of your SD card. I've already got it, so I'm going to open mine up, and we're going to open this one up, and we're just simply going to copy this, and we're simply just going to paste it right right inside the apps folder there. That, that's, that's all there is to that. Pretty simple, right? All right. This one right here, guys, we're simply just going to uh, copy it and put this on. Well, first of all, uh, I don't want a ROM on my SD card, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, 
yikes you know what I can't do that but what I can do let's do this right here uh, I'm gonna go ahead and because you're gonna need this folder guys on your SD card as well as your hard drive okay so let's go ahead and just copy this on the root of our hard drive and just wait a second here The reason why you want it on both because on your SD card guys you gotta have that Wii McMuffin uh, folder with that ROM file on it okay that's why you need that, fo uh, that folder on your SD card uh, now as for the other folders you might need a couple other folders within that folder I don't know which ones but I just go ahead and just slam them uh, on the SD card anyway uh, they don't take up that much space you know what I mean okay so uh there's that guys all right so we got this folder here on my uh, my hard drive along with my game and now we go into it and go into ROMs here I'm gonna go ahead and delete this because that'll make the uh, the transfer a lot quicker so I'm just gonna drag and drop this over into the root of the SD card guys there it is right there as you can see there there's my rob right there so we're, we're all set guys we are all set so let's let's go on over to the uh, the Wii and let's just see if she'll boot up how about that cool sound cool to you guys does the V let's go All right, guys. Uh, so here we go. Uh, just keep your fingers crossed on this one. <laughs> uh, nah, just kidding. It's gonna work, guys. Uh, let's go into our emulator here. Uh, first of all, I want to go to advanced because I like to have my uh, Wii Remote sideways and not upright so that's just me <laughs> now we'll go into load game we'll hit the a button and uh my games are all by usb so i'm gonna uh yikes uh i'm gonna scroll down to uh where it says usb device i'm gonna hit the a button all right so here's my hard drive here I'm going to have to scroll all the way down to my Wii McDuffin folder. <clears throat> right there. Hit the A button. And now we're going to scroll down to where it says, uh, what was it, ROMs, right? Uh, am I missing? There it is. Okay. Right here. And now we're going to scroll down to the PCFX. And there's my game there, guys. We're going to open the folder up. And uh, you don't want to click on the bin file. You want to click on the Q file. All right? And hit the A button. And there we go, guys. Works perfectly. No problem whatsoever. Uh, I'll play a little bit of this game just to show you how cool it is. I think it's cool anyway. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but yeah. But this is the game that, that comes with the archive, guys. If you don't like it, you can just simply just delete it. It don't matter. I'm going to rush through this real quick. I have no idea what that says. If anybody knows what that says, let me know. But anyway. All right, so here's the game. And by the way, it has a really cool soundtrack, too. It really does. Uh, and you can actually play... Hey, yeah, yikes. Uh, 
with the GameCube controller, which I'm using right now. I just paused it to uh, switch it out because I've forgotten about it. But yeah, you can use a uh, GameCube controller, guys. Really cool. Wow. And there's your uh, there's your power up there. Ooh, 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 ooh. ooh. Yeah, I, I, I'm glad, uh, I am so glad that the guy commented, uh, from one of my tutorials, letting me know, uh, about this. Uh, I want to thank him a lot for that. Uh, this is just a really cool system if you ask me. There's a lot more games I want to check out with this system. But yeah, okay guys, uh, I'm, I'm just going to go ahead, I'm in this tutorial now, and uh, I hope this uh, helped that certain person out, as well as uh, other people who are having problems with this. Uh, actually, I'm not bragging or nothing, but it only took me like not even an hour to figure this thing out, because simply because the emulator itself was telling you what was wrong the whole time, I mean... But, yeah, this was probably one of my easiest, uh, easiest troubleshoots I, that I've had or on a game. So, yeah, uh, it does work, as you can see, guys, and uh, I'm with this to tutorial. I'm going to say that one more time. And uh, happy gaming. Guys, uh, if you have any comments, whatever like that, uh, you know, you get, there's a comment section below. Uh, let me know uh, your thoughts on this, uh, if you have any problems or whatever. And so, uh, I'll see y'all guys on the next tutorial. Uh, and this is Bobby uh, signing off. Thanks for watching, guys.